quite oh, that comes out wide. It's a beast. Oh, back at the spot where I did my last video for Nightquill. Um, so I painted this rough thing literally the beginning of 2023 and it's obviously got loads of tags and crap all over it now. So I'm going to paint over this because why not? And everything else on the other side is really good. So I don't really want to be painting over any of those pieces right now. So let's turn that off because we don't really need that anymore. Today we are going to be testing the Nightquill Hydra, which is another new product on the market from Nightquill. Um, it's reasonably new anyway. Um, so I hope it's not as messy as the Big Shotter. I'm also going to be testing another Nightquill product today, but that will be the following video to this. Um, so you want to subscribe now if you haven't already, so you don't miss the next product. Um, I'm not going to tell you what that is just yet. Um, but yeah, today we are testing the Hydra. Is it Hydro? Hydra. I think it's Hydra. That's the big shotter. It's a messy one. The Hydra. Let's try and find one without showing you the other product I'm testing from Nightquill today. So this is a Hydra. So it's basically a cap, um, a big wide fan cap, a bit like the big shotter, but meant solely, I believe, for mail cans. I don't think necessarily Fling Booster is exactly what they had in mind for this, but um, yeah, I believe it's like Mad Max, Ultra Wides, other things like that, but it fits on there nicely. Unlike the Big Shotter, when you take the spigot out of the Big Shotter and try putting on a mail can, it's all loose and doesn't really fit snugly. So, first of all, we're going to sketch up and then we'll come back to this. So we're just going to use this, fucking hell, yeah that's wide, so much better than the Big Shotter. If you're going to buy a Nightcore product for doing this kind of stuff, get the Hydra over the Big Shotter straight away. Just need to obviously buy male cans to go with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you're up to anything that you shouldn't be doing big blockbusters, this is the one. But, make sure you get some decent gloves because, a bit like the Big Shotter, it looks a bit messy. Whew. Yeah, should have brought a mask, but I didn't. That's ridiculous. Oh my god. I wanted to tag up high, but I'm gonna get covered in paint though, that's the only problem. Yeah, it's Yeah, it's a bit messy. You probably can't even read that, but I see Nightcrawler actually releasing another product which is like one of those needle caps with a big straw so you can actually get tags up high but yeah there you go big shotter doing a silver chrome background messy thing so let's try filling with a hydra i think it's going to be a little bit messy don't you um yeah probably don't even really need to shake the cans with one of these on it just blast through all the stuff monstrous right definitely gonna be messy i didn't bring a can a regular 400 mil can of black to 
cut back or anything. But yeah. You can actually cut in really nicely. It's got to be quick. Right, this could be quite fun. Messed up the bottom, but... There you go. Probably the quickest fill I've ever done, but also probably one of the messiest, but still. It's pretty much blitz through a fresh can of Flame Booster 500ml. Yeah, that's probably the fastest I've ever used a can of paint as well. So yeah, there you go. That is the Hydra. Quick review is, yeah, if you're up to filling things into can't even talk right. If you need to fill something really quickly, that's a really good cap for it. Just obviously you need to get mail cans. So there we go. That is it for this video. A quick outro. Um, so that cap is very fun. Um, the downsides are that you go through a lot of paint and you need mail cans to use them. Um, I do believe and I have tried to use the brass bigot out of a NyQuil Big Shotter. It does work, um, but it doesn't particularly work very well um, when you use it with a 400ml can. It's like, it just comes out with two like kind of jets either side and it's just, you know, some people could use it for doing some artistic kind of things, but it's not really my bag. Um, but yeah, if you want to use the NyQuil Hydra cap, um, I do recommend it if you want to go and fill some big space in very quickly but it's not exactly a very cheap alternative if you want to go fill your piece in with one of those um, I recommend just using some bucket paint and a little roller to be honest um, it's not really particularly made for painting pieces on walls um, it's more for doing big quick actions if you catch my drift that's exactly my, my take on it anyway. So anyway, if you've watched this video this far, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and of course, um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, drop a comment, tell me what you think about this new product and where Nightcrawler are going in the industry because they're certainly making some big waves in my opinion. Um, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.